hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is adeze if you are new to this channel and this is a story about how i got pregnant after my iud failed okay so guys i hope you're not waiting for me to tell you to go and get your snacks go and get your drinks just relax and listen to this gist okay <laughs> yes my very hot gist anyway so i'll start from the last part i told you guys about which is how my iud you know failed my iud actually pushed itself out okay so if you don't know my story about how my iud pretty much failed and came out by itself then maybe you should just go and watch that one before you come back and watch this story so everything will make sense to you okay um yeah i think i was even wearing the same outfit in that video i think so Anyway, I'll try and link the video somewhere here or in the description box. Or is it here? Anyway, I'll try and link the video in the description box so that you can watch it before you watch this one. Or you can watch it after this one anyway to just give you more context to this story. Yeah, but for those of you who know my story, let's just continue the gist, okay? About what happened after I told you guys that my IUD fell out and I was going back to Ghana put another one and this and that anyway so the way iud works is that if you want to insert a new iud you have to come at the end of your period or so yes the end of your period like if your period is for five days you come on the sixth day or something yeah yeah i think that's how it's done but you have to come at the time that you're sure that you're not pregnant and you're not you know undergoing any other changes in your body anyway after my first iud fell out i was supposed to go back to the hospital to get another one inserted and also in fact first of all to check that everything was fine with me because the way that one came out it was very painful and i felt like i had bruises up there or in there you know for a while you guys know that this thing actually stays in your cervix or near your cervix or, or so whatever but after like three days i felt better so i wasn't really in a hurry again to just go and check myself and i felt okay since I was going to get my IUD put back after my period then let me just wait till my next period and after it I will go okay so after my next period I was like wait uh, this period was five days I told you guys that before when I had my IUD inserted my period was sometimes 12 days 13 days 14 days of course the heavy bleeding will stay for like 10 days then the next four days will be spotting and all that okay so ah this one was now back to five days I say <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> Chelugodu, <laughs> Chelugodu. I was like, eh, it went back to five days. Um, I didn't feel so much pain during the period. I didn't even feel like, you know, it wasn't the bleeding wasn't as heavy as it used to be when I was, you know, when I had the iron inserted. So I just said, you know what, let me relax more because this, <laughs> I, it's been a long time I felt this free and liberated. First of all, you guys don't know that if you don't have an IUD inserted, I don't know about other people, but for me, I always had this consciousness that I have a foreign body in my body. Each time I remember that I have something in my body that is foreign, I felt somehow, okay, but I just allowed it because I knew that it was serving the right purpose, okay? Me and Nelo, if you don't know her, her name is Nelo KK here on YouTube, she's my friend, so we were both planned because we used the same hospital in fact our two hospitals are the same hospitals and it's not like we planned it though it was just anyway that's not the story because actually i was planning to use my second doctor it's a long story but I just know that the doctor that helped me to you know conceive the first time now has her own clinic okay the white doctor if i told you guys about her i told you about my doctor that was the white woman that's basically nigerian at this point so she has her own clinic so Nelo also goes to her own clinic and I said, you know what, me and her are not planning that we'll go That Don't worry, you know how you just be consoling yourself. Okay, which day should we go? Okay, we'll try and go next week. Then next week we'll say, you know what, let's try and go two weeks time. <laughs> so I just told myself that I will still go back and go and get this thing done. I remember my husband even asked me like twice or so, like, what's up? Are you not going to the hospital to go and get your IUD put back? And I told him, okay, first of all, you, have, you need to chillax because <laughs> I'm actually free. Like for the, for the first time in a long time, I feel free. I feel happy. I'm not going through all those period pains and um, heavy bleeding and all that. And one thing is that my husband is not the type of person that will push the matter. Okay, if I is such matter. He just said it twice and that was it. He didn't say it again. I mean, I just felt a bit, let me relax, Joe. And I told you guys that I am not the kind of person who gets pregnant by mistake. All my pregnancies were planned for like so planned for that from six days dpo six days dpo means six days past ov ovulation okay from six seven eight days dpo i started testing like i'll be testing i'm checking my strip just to see if i'm pregnant that month even when i got pregnant with cora it wasn't even a surprise because i already said um 
um, noticing changes in my body and I started testing really really early so I, I in fact I know how to you know those pregnancy strips I know how to read this very I know how to tweak it it's the way you take pictures of it and tweak it you'll be able to see there's a line there or not okay so I'm a pro in that that's all I've known you know so far so I didn't expect to just get pregnant by mistake and again my cycle is fairly constant or fairly regular so I always knew my safe period okay anyway i'm just saying all this so that you guys will understand why this was such a shocker for me okay so now corona now started the whole corona thing started funny enough when this whole thing was happening corona was not really a big deal in nigeria then so i could have gone to still get it done but i was just like using corona as an excuse like i can't really go so that i'm not sure about hospitals hospitals are not really safe especially private clinics that they i heard that some people are treating patients in private clinics you know i was just giving so many excuses for myself just because i was like ah for once in the, in, in a long time i feel free and i'm not going through all those stress of um, period issues okay now my first period after the iud fell out was supposed to come on day 28 but it didn't come till day 30 or 31 so between day 28 and day 30 i was panicking so bad i said hey they have caught me oh. they have caught me <laughs> i was really panicking i remember going to buy a pregnancy test strip the reason why i even bought that strip i was saying well if i'm pregnant i will know but if i'm not pregnant i'm going to use this strip to prank my husband you guys know that i've been joking about it with my husband for a while that what if i'm pregnant what will you do you know what if i have another child i was just joking about it though but before i could use the test my period came like i think the morning i was supposed to even use the test my period came so i was just like ah thank god as in i knew now nah, i can't be pregnant so i can't be pregnant so i just kept this test strip that i'll use it to prank him later <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was I didn't know I was I was getting ready for my own shocker. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is the timeline, right? My ID fell out on my period. Then the next period after that was delayed. But you know, when it finally came, it was just five days and it was stress-free, and I was happy that it was stress-free. So I did not go and get any IUD inserted, okay? So immediately after that period, I started my weight loss journey. I started posting on Instagram on, and on my second channel on YouTube. I started working out every day. Um, I wasn't really eating healthy per se, but I wasn't eating as stupidly as I used to eat. I was doing intermittent fasting some days. Um, some days I'll just eat only when I'm hungry. Some days I'll eat really healthy. You know, I was just winging it in the diet part but the exercise part was i was exercising every single day aside sunday yeah aside sunday but on instagram on youtube i was exercising mondays to friday saturday i'll do on my own at home sundays i wasn't doing at all okay so i was getting back on track i was you know feeling my body back yeah i was feeling lighter and happier and you know i was just feeling good with myself now for those of you who were following me when I was doing my exercise on Instagram, I'm sure you will understand what I'm about to explain. The first thing I noticed was, after a while, I couldn't exercise for 10 minutes straight without drinking water. Like, I was so thirsty. And the thirst is not like, oh, I'm exercising, I need to drink water to stay hydrated. No. The thirsty is like, oh my god, I've not drank water in the past five days. I, I need to drink water right this second. I remember the people telling me, ah, ah, take it easy on the water now. I just said, see, my throat was always so dry. Like, I'll drink water right now and maybe skip like 200 skips like at once. And I'll be so thirsty. Like, I cannot, I can't breathe except I drink water. So I'll go and drink water again. I'll start panting. After a while, I noticed that I couldn't even do like 200 or 100 at a stretch like i used to do i have to break it down to 50 break some down to 20 sometimes i'll sit down on the floor and rest i was always getting extremely tired and extremely thirsty okay but i was still doing my exercise very well though. then at some point i started having ankle pain because of the skipping that i was skipping so i said okay let me just stop skipping and start doing insanity workouts <laughs> If you guys know insanity, insanity is pretty, is insanity like the name, you know, uh, implies. It is pretty intense workout with Shanti. So I started doing insanity with Shanti. The insanity was better for me because I wasn't putting so much pressure on my ankles like I was doing with skipping. 
But again, like I was so tired. I was just, I'll do, 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 do. I'll sit down, I'll drink water. Well, I guess that was the first sign that I did not notice, okay? I noticed it, but I didn't notice it as a symptom of pregnancy, okay? So while on that, the day I was supposed to get my period, I noticed that throughout that day, I had this metallic taste in my mouth, like really, really bad metallic taste. Like all my previous pregnancies, I've never had that metallic taste, but I always read it online on Baby Center and all that, that some women experience, you know, metallic taste in their mouth when they are pregnant, okay? So I had this one really, really bad. I remember then I was telling Amarachi that it's like the water she gave me, it's like, it's like there's something wrong with our dispenser. Maybe it's not clean or maybe someone left a metal inside there that is rusting and is entering the water. She would tell me that the water tastes okay. But me, it wasn't just tasting okay to me. At some point, I couldn't even drink water. I started drinking Zobo um, with ginger and all that. And I was just like, even as I was drinking the Zobo, I could still taste that metallic taste somewhere on that. I was not like, is it that... I don't know, all the water in this house having that taste. My mind, I mean, for a brief second went to pregnancy, but I was like, <laughs> nah, it can't be me, okay? After that, I put it out of my mind. Mind you, my period was supposed to come, okay? But I just told myself that since my period delayed the last time, that maybe this IUD, maybe the IUD falling out is, my body is trying to regulate itself and go back to normal. The second day after my period was supposed to start, I said, ha, this period I don't start to do, but I still told myself that, yeah, it may not be period, maybe it's all this exercise I'm doing because sometimes it happens when you start, you know, a weight loss journey and start exercising regularly and all that, your period will, you know, experience some kind of delay or change or your cycle will change basically. So I still did not. And that day the metallic taste left my mouth. So I was just like, ah, I'm just sure maybe I'll just wait for the period to start. I don't need to start calculating it so much. You guys, by the third day, period did not start. Something just told me, you are pregnant. <laughs> I said, it's not possible now. How will I be pregnant? It's not possible because I didn't feel pregnant. Aside the metallic taste that happened two days ago and had gone, I did not feel pregnant. And I started remembering the way I was always thirsty while exercising, how I was always getting really tired while exercising, how I was sleeping off during the day. Then another thing that I remember, Ava was extra clingy that period. I remember saying it on this channel that I've told Ava that it's like you need to realize that you are out. Like you are, you need to cut the umbilical cord again because Ava, Ava now became extra clingy. She was always climbing on my body. Always wanted me to hold her. She didn't, as in, if I tell her, sit beside me. Mm -mm, she wants it on my body. Like we can't, sitting beside is not enough. We must sit together on the same spot, you know. So she was still on my body and I was always tired. I would say, oh God, this child, just leave me alone for two seconds. Let me breathe. So yeah, so when that voice told me, you are pregnant, I was still trying to deny it. Someone told me that, have you not heard the myth? I still call it a myth because I don't believe it's so true. But have you not heard the myth that children know when they are actually last born, they know when their mothers are pregnant so they become extra clingy because they know that another person is coming to take over their spots you know so i laughed at myself for, <laughs> for thinking that i was just like ah, it's not possible <laughs> you know but i'm not telling myself that that's why it's not good to hear some things because when you hear some kind of you know myths and all that when things start happening around you you start attributing them to things you've heard meanwhile it's just maybe eva was going through something in her life at that point or maybe some you know toddler changes or milestone growth spot something that is worrying her that's why she's just extra clingy that's what i said though but at this point it was now to somehow i just told myself that you know what in the morning i am going to test and be sure that i am not pregnant because all these things that i'm going through is only making matters worse let me just test and be sure that i'm not pregnant so that i'll stop you know stressing myself so that morning i went to the bathroom and took the test okay so you guys you know how you are doing something just to fulfill all righteousness but in your mind you're like i know it's going to be negative because i've had that feeling more times than i've had the feeling of getting a positive i don't know if you guys get this but what i'm trying to say is that i have tested and gotten negative um pregnancy results or pregnancy tests i've gotten the negative pregnancy test more times in my life than i have gotten positive pregnancy tests okay so for every one positive pregnancy test that i've gotten best believe i have gotten at least 50 yes because i test almost every month <laughs> I test almost every month. I used to test almost every month. So just know that I was more used to getting negative than getting positive, okay? So when I did that test that morning, my mind still went back to my default setting of this is going to be negative. So after I finished peeing and, you know, brushed my teeth, I just took the test 
and looked at it and I was going to the bathroom. I was going to the dustbin to go and dispose of the test. But my brain said, look at this thing very well. Positive is two lines. And you guys, I'm going to insert, I hope I still have clips of all these things. I'm going to insert the picture of the pregnancy test. The positive was not kind of positive, might be positive, slightly positive, early positive, weak positive, not so positive. No, it was, it is positive. <laughs> you are pregnant, madam. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> I'm talking, I'm even remembering that feeling. You know they call Obi Mapo. <laughs> I don't have to say it in English. Just know that my spirit left my body and came back. I said, no, now. It's not possible now. Like, this test must have issues. It must have issues. Like, it cannot be too red. <laughs> it cannot be. The two redness are just too red for me, for my liking. Like, this must be a mistake. I checked again. I said, hey, this is actually positive. Oh. Hmm. I just quickly went into my room, ducked my phone, ran into the bathroom back, and called the father of the child. <laughs> I called my husband. I was just like, baby, hmm, I'm pregnant. He said, he first laughed. I said, what are you laughing for? You think I'm joking? I said, you think I'm joking? I am pregnant. He was still laughing. I said, what are you laughing for? I said, I am pregnant. This is not a joke. This is not a prank. I'm actually pregnant. That I just did the test now. The test is very, very, very red. I told him, don't worry. I'm going to send you a picture of the test strip right now. I quickly took the picture and sent to him. I said, I am pregnant. Like, I am pregnant. Like, do you understand? Like, I am actually pregnant. So that was how my husband started talking that, you know, things don't, no, things don't always go as planned, but we just have to be grateful to God, you know, because uh, obviously this is a miracle because even him, he's sure that this is, I say we are actively avoiding pregnancy. So I don't want to go into details of how we're actively avoiding it, but just know that the only thing we didn't do is that we didn't have, you know, a proper birth control, but every other thing that people do to avoid pregnancy, we did it. Okay. You know, I should just be calm, blah, 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 blah. You know, as he was talking, I never started feeling um, a little better, but I was still in a state of shock because it's not something I expected. So after I finished calling him, I now started calling my sister. She didn't pick. I was like, oh, just pick the call. I needed someone to freak out with me. I needed someone to be like, what, what, what? That's what I wanted. I didn't want level-headed, low-tone discussion about that. Eh, I didn't want logic at that point. So I called my sister, even though she's the kind of person that does logic, but sometimes she will freak out with you then now switch to the logic part. My mother did not even freak out with me one bit. But anyway, so I called Nello and I told her everything and, you know, as I was telling her, to be honest, I still felt like maybe this thing might still be a joke. So after I finished talking with Nello, I now went back again and did another test because it was two strips that came in the pack. So I told myself that maybe all this, let me not freak out too much. Let me go back again and do another test and be sure. I went back, did another test, the same two red, hot red lines like this. <laughs> <laughs> the same two red lines so i just told myself you know what this is real this is no longer a drill this is no longer a joke you are planning to prank somebody's son and you ended up pranking yourself <laughs> you ended up pranking yourself for real so anyway that's basically the story of how i found out um yeah for some reason those first few weeks i was in well, i won't call it denial i wasn't really in denial because i knew i was pregnant but let's just put it this way most mornings when i wake up I ask myself, did yesterday really happen? Did two days ago really happen? Did two days ago really happen? Did I really test pregnant a week ago? That's how it continued. But quickly, I really, I quickly got used to the fact that I was pregnant because the symptoms hit me like a, a ton of bricks. Okay. By um, week six, no, five weeks plus. Six weeks. I think when you just clock six weeks, the symptoms all came at once. Whoom. Nausea, headaches, Tummy ache, vomiting, um, tiredness, um, cravings, everything came at once. It wasn't that, that oh, you feel nausea at first and after a while, everything came at once. So anyway, yeah, my symptoms, so my symptoms between six weeks and about 15 weeks were pretty intense, pretty, pretty intense. I was vomiting, I was losing weight, 
Although I usually lose weight during my pregnancies, I don't know why. Not that I even lose much, but I don't gain as much during my pregnancies. It's mostly my baby. Like once I give birth, I go back to pre pre pregnancy weight immediately. But I don't really gain weight in my pregnancies. And trust me, I eat well. Though. I eat a lot. Like I eat. Food has never been my problem. Even when I was having nausea and I was vomiting and all that, I would eat and vomit. It's not like I couldn't eat. I would eat, but I would vomit it. Do you understand? But the food would enter my mouth first. But yeah, okay, so I think what we're going to do next now is that you guys should ask me questions about my pregnancy and I'm going to respond. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how I found out that I was pregnant. Um, yeah, like. Right now, I'm actually excited about this pregnancy. I'm actually looking forward to giving birth and having my baby. I'm actually now slowly getting into the mood of, um, you know, being a new mom and, you know, enjoying. I'm actually very excited for my children to meet their new sibling, okay? Like, I think that's the biggest excitement I even have, you know? Um, I've told them about the pregnancy. I'll show that one in, the, in a different video, maybe another vlog. I'll show you guys. You know me, me telling them about the pregnancy and all that um yeah so that's my story thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel subscribe but we have plenty interesting things on this channel that are coming plenty 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 so don't miss out and you know turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i post a new video yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video Bye, guys. Mm.